everybody. This is just a quick tidbit. I'm going to make some guacamole and I thought I'd show you how I do it. Now, for those of you who have never addressed an avocado on your own, let me wipe my board off here. The first thing you do is you say, hello avocado. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm bum. Okay. You're going to steal. Okay. Hello, Sammy. I see you. Okay. Stand the avocado up on its fat end. Take your knife and you're going to cut gently around the hemisphere of the avocado. Twist it. And then you're going to take your knife and very gently give it a tap and a twist. At which point you should get, because these are very slippery and your knife is very sharp, and pull that right off the knife into an awaiting receptacle. Now, because I'm making guacamole and I'm going to mash it up anyway, just take a knife. Crisscross. And then take our spoon and scoop it right in there. That makes it really easy to get out. Now, let's get some salt over here and a fork. I'm going to mash it. I like my avocado, my guacamole, a little chunky. I like it very rustic. I don't like, um, I don't like it too smooth. But the one thing that I will tell you, guacamole never, ever, ever has mayonnaise in it. It never has Miracle Whip or salad dressing in it. In my world, that does not happen. There we go, there's your avocado. Now, let me get my... Little bit of lemon juice. Some salt, avocado likes salt. They're best friends. Some chopped cilantro to your taste. Some fresh tomato, some chopped onion, need yeah, need a bigger bowl and some chips because I don't have any chips, but that's okay. Mmm, that's good. A little more lemon juice. And you saw, I have actually three avocados in here. I did the last one for you. I'd say probably a tablespoon of chopped cilantro. I have two chopped Roma tomatoes and about a half a cup of chopped onion. And I'd say a teaspoon of salt and a half a lemon's worth of juice. There you go, folks. That's my guacamole. I hope you try it, and I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see ya.